Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got a message to bring to you that was given to Julie Wedby on Sunday, November 7th. Okay, let me pull it forward. It's I'm reading from her blog spot webpage. I am calling you now. It's all one word. Dot blogspot dot com. And she calls her site Behold I Come. It starts off, always starts off with Revelation 22, 12. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. This is dated Sunday, November 7th, 2021. It's, uh, the title of the actual message is My Appointed Times Cannot Be Altered or Millions May Perish. Hmm. During my prayer time on Saturday, November 6, 2021, I was crying out to Yahushua, really just begging him for more understanding because of all the evil that is now occurring. I have such a deep, deep sorrow for all that is being allowed and I'm desperately wanting to know more about why it must be this way. I'm that way too, brothers and sisters. How about you? It is so incredibly disturbing. And I just can't wrap my mind around things most days. My heart is broken because of all the suffering, pain, and heartache that this world is filled with. And now... With the jab and all the children being targets more than ever before, I feel like I can't stand one more minute. It feels as if I'm suffocating much of the time in a world spiraling out of control. Even though he has removed me and kept me apart for his purposes. Yeah, me too. This is what Yahushua spoke to me in response to my heartfelt ones. I'm sorry, cries. That, that font is kind of light, like a gray instead of black. All right, now this is bold. I can see this real good. Here's the words the Lord gave her. My precious child, you know I have spoken to you before about why you are here. You have the understanding as to your role, your purpose, and the bigger perspective about what is happening here. You know that a choice must be made, and without any comparison to be presented, a soul cannot choose between light and dark, good and evil. I wasn't quite sure what he meant by that. Without any comparison to be presented, a soul cannot choose between light and dark, good and evil. Maybe he means because our spirit man is the one that does the choosing. I know you don't understand completely why I created evil and why things must be so dark and wicked. But I promise you, you will very soon know more of my heart and why I designed things this way. And you will have peace then about all of this that you are witnessing. You remember being taught about my Moedims. That's what the Hebrews call their feast days. He said, you remember being taught about my Moedims, my appointed times. Just as I have my times for meeting with my people in my feasts, I have appointed in your linear timeline certain significant events, judgments, and plans that must take place in this realm at a strategic point in the process. Think of this as an architect who would have a plan, 
a very detailed layout of how something is to be designed to achieve a desired outcome. What would happen if the builder skipped a step? Would not the entire structure be compromised? It is like this with my design for this age. Although it is extremely difficult for you to perceive now, all things are connected. And the connections are so incredibly precise, so perfect in their creation, so detailed that not one single thing can be altered or changed without it affecting the entire construct. Do you understand now that if I were to act as you want me to act before an appointed time for something, thousands upon thousands, if not millions of souls would be at stake and in danger of being separated from me for eternity. This is why the design must be fulfilled exactly as it was purposed. Every jot and tittle fulfilled, every single detail intricately woven into the tapestry of my plan, guided by my, holy, by my spirit, until the moment I say, now. As I continue to tell you, you will very soon understand. But keep trusting me. Keep believing. Keep pressing toward the prize. Keep your faith. Because the mo that moment is closer than you could imagine. You will see. Great change is here for those in my quiver. I will not disappoint my remnant, my bride, and my love. For you is unending. I am here with you, little one. Rejoice and rest as I have told you to do. Smile and celebrate that your king is coming. And it's signed Yahushua. So let me pull down this, pull forward the camera, and say, I like that message. Sure, we'd like to go right now this minute, but if it means that some many, many souls will get with Jesus because of our having to wait a little bit longer than we thought maybe we had to, then I'm all for it. May God give us all the strength and patience to endure and to remember that God is in control. Always. Okay. I don't understand the plan either. I really don't. But I have a pretty good imagination and can only imagine what he's talking about. And I know what others have received about going back in time. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Because I haven't received it personally. I just have heard others, seen other videos of people's dreams, visions, time loop, talk of time loops, changes in time, changes in history. Think about it. What does he have up his sleeve? <laughs> I can't wait to find out. So I'm going to end it here and I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. And I'm going to continue to say, please keep me in your prayers as I keep you in mine. I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.